Here are 10 must have photoshop actions. Because I love you, I'm giving out this action for free. And if you already have the old one, you should get this one because I added 4 new actions. And not just that, this my action pass contains the focus separation 8 bit and 16 bit as well. And from the previous action, if you try to run multiple focus separation, you are going to encounter this kind of problem. But for this new action, I've already fixed that problem and you can use multiple focus separation or multiple dodger bonds seamlessly. Now before you rush and download those actions, let me show you the function of those actions and how you can actually use them. So the first one right here, let me just delete this group. So the first one we have right here, we have the focus separation 16 bits and 8 bits. So if you are retouching the 16 bit image, just run this 16 bit focus separation action. And if you are retouching an 8 bit, just run this 8 bit focus separation action. And to know your image size or the bits of your image, just come to your image right here. And just come to your mood and you are going to see 16 bits. So this image is 16 bits. So I'm going to click on focus separation 16 bits. I'm just going to run the action. Put any Gaussian blur radius you want. I'm going to use 7 for this image and click on OK. Now, if you want to remove blemishes from your image, make sure this high focus right here is selected. And if you want to use a mixer brush, make sure your brush here layer is selected and just hide your high focus or texture tool to get only the colors. So that's how you can actually use this focus separation action. And the 16 bit and the 8 bit works the same way. But if you have an 8 bit image, use the 8 bit. If you have a 16 bit image, use the 16 bit. And with this new action pack, you can run as many focus separation action as you want. So you can see I've already run one right there. So I can just click on it again and just going to run another one. It's not going to give me any error message. And I can click on it again and it's going to run another one. I'm not going to get any error messages. The next action I'm going to get inside this pack is the dodge bone action. So just click on the Tillens dodge bone right here. So with this action, you can do your global dodge and bone and your micro dodge and bone. So if you want to do your global dodge and bone, I'm just going to pick my normal brush too. Just make sure my flow is 100, opacity 100, and I'm just drawing. I'm just going to reduce my brush size and just draw some lines on the dodge like that. So as the highlights like this. So anywhere I see highlight, I'm just going to draw some lines like this. And also for my bone, I click my bone, and I just draw some lines on the shadow as well like this. So for the shadow parts like this. What I'm going to do? I'm going to cut my layer mask. Click on properties and just feather it until I feel it's looking okay. Also for the dodge, I'm going to feather the dodge as well. Like this, so the before and the after. So this is how I do my global dodge and bond. But you can use this dodge and bond action to do your global dodge and bond the way you usually do your global dodge and bond. Now if you want to use some micro dodge and bond, you can just come to the actions again and just click on Tillage dodge and bond. And just reduce your brush size and just take your flow to 3%. And start doing your micro dodge and bond with this dodge and bond action. Inside this action pack, there's an action called color correction. So once I click on the color correction action, you can use this action to even out the color of your image. So once you click on the action, you just click on the gradient and not the gradient map. Click on the gradient and click on properties and just click on this gradient right here. Once you click on it, you're going to see your gradient editor. So you're going to see your shadow meters a highlight. So just click on this shadow color right here and just sample any colors from the image right here. So I'm going to sample this part right here as a shadow. And also I'll click on Mittens and sample, let's say this place right here as the Mittens. And also for the highlights, I'm going to click on the highlight color and just sample this place right here as the highlight. And I'm going to click on OK. Now after that, I'm going to hide my properties. Just pick my normal brush tool and just bring my flow to 100%, opacity 100% and just paint that color on the image. To just even out the skin color of your image so i know it's not looking good right now i'm just going to fix that in a moment so after that i'm just going to come to my blend mode change it from normal to color and just reduce the opacity until i feel it's okay all right so the before and the after so that's how the color correction action function works and the next action i'm going to get inside this pack is the unsharpen action and this unsharpen action is to we have one for the face and we have one for the eyes, the lips and the nose. So how this action works is that it just makes the image pop and just make the face of your image more attractive and more um, appealing. So let me show you how it works. So just create a stamp visible layer by pressing on Ctrl Shift alternate E. And after that, just click on this or sharp mask face. I'm just going to load the action and create a layer mask and invert it. So all you have to do is pick your normal brush tool and just paint on the face to reveal the effect. So let me just show the before and after so you can see the effect of that. So this is the before and this is the after. Wow. The before and the after. Now the other one is to make the eyes, nose, lips pop. And to use that, just create another stamp visible layer by pressing on Ctrl Shift Alternate E. 
and just click on this or sharpen eyes and lips like this and just going to run the action this time pick your normal brush tool and just paint on only the eyes the nose and the lips like that if i just zoom you can see it just sharpen it a little bit and just make it pop like that so just use it you are really going to like it and the next action we're talking about is the eyes that fit whitening action so just click on this eyes that fit whitening action and this eyes that fit whitening action gives you a more realistic white eyes and teeth after you finish using it so once you're on that action just pick your normal brush tool make sure your opacity is set to 100 make sure your flow is set to 100 and just paint on the white part of the eyes like this so just take your time to paint it like this so you can see how realistic it's looking and do the same thing for the other eyes like this and if there was teeth for this image you would have paint on the teeth as well and it's just going to make the teeth white as well so you can choose to reduce the opacity if you want so this is the before and this is the after the before and the after you can see how realistic it's looking so let me just delete that now inside this action pack you have the rich tone now this rich tone just make your image like gives your image the best contrast you can ever think of so once you click on this rich tone right here it's just going to make the image look rich like this it works best for dark image so you can see it's making this image look so so good right now but if you feel it's looking too dark you can just come to your opacity and reduce it even more a little bit like this so this is the before this is the after you can see the contrast is added to this image it's looking really 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 good so you have everything inside this my action pack and you're getting it for free that's the best part because i love you so another thing you're getting inside this action is the sharpen action so if you want to add sharpness to your image all you have to do is just come to your sharpen and just click on this sharp right here and it's going to just add sharpen to your image and if you feel it's too much you can just come to your opacity and reduce the opacity you have control over everything on this action now another thing you're going to get inside this action is the noise action so if you like digital noise like me and you like adding it to your image you know it's very stressful to add digital noise to your image from scratch inside of photoshop if i use photoshop but with this action all you have to do is just come to the action and just play this noise action and it will automatically add digital noise to your image in just one click so the before and after and if you feel it's too much you can just reduce the opacity just a little bit like this Wow, so these are the actions you are going to be getting inside this my action pack. And if you want to download this action, I'll be leaving the link where you can download this action for free in the description below. So check the description of this video to download this action. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.